How do you turn a project idea into action? That's where project deliverables and activities step in. Deliverables help you break down big goals into concrete outputs, and activities help you keep breaking them down until you have a series of tangible steps that your team can take. Defining your project deliverables and activities is an essential skill in project scheduling. Without it, your schedule won't be clear or actionable. So let's take a look at what each entails. First, let's explore what we mean by project deliverables. Project deliverables are the specific products or outcomes you deliver to your client. They're the actual outputs created by the end of the project. Examples of deliverables might be a new software feature, research documents, digital assets, physical products, or even a result, such as a 98% customer satisfaction rating. Deliverables can be either big or small, and tangible or intangible. All that matters is that they're specific and measurable. This makes sure that you and your client have the same expectations for what the project will deliver. There are three steps to define your project deliverables. First, review your project's objective. This is the high-level goal of the project, such as improving workplace safety. Second, break down this objective. You can do this by asking yourself, what products or outcomes will I deliver by the end of the project? So for the safety example, this might be a safety report, training video, or a new piece of safety equipment. Finally, look for opportunities to make your deliverables more specific and measurable. If your deliverables include a series of training videos, then how many videos will you deliver? And how long will each video be? All right, now that you have your project deliverables, the next question is, what work is involved to create them? Your project activities are all of the action items or steps you need to take to produce a project's deliverables. They're the tasks that your team will execute. Activities define everything that needs to happen to complete a project, whether that's writing code, testing an email automation, or obtaining a construction license. They're important because they make your project actionable. They tell your team what to do. There are also three steps to define your project activities. First, review your project deliverables individually. That means you'll work through steps two and three for each project deliverable, one at a time. Next, start at the beginning of each deliverable. Ask yourself, what's the very first thing that needs to happen to produce this deliverable? Once you have an answer, identify what needs to happen second and third and so on. Continue identifying each step of the project sequentially until you reach the completion of all project deliverables. Finally, examine the project as a whole and look for gaps. Ask yourself, are there any steps missing? Get your team involved and see if you can get more specific on the activities you've already outlined too. Altogether, project deliverables are the outputs of your project. Activities are the actual steps involved to produce each deliverable. So, a deliverable might be survey results, whereas writing the survey questions is an activity to produce that deliverable. Defining both deliverables and activities will help you identify, schedule, and coordinate the work that needs to be done to achieve your project goals.